we're back on the farm. Just a uh, short break this time. We had to be here for a delivery. The uh, windows and doors for the house were getting delivered today. That's been done. So I've spent yesterday afternoon and most of today cutting the grass in the field. If you was watching a video previous, one of our previous videos, you'd know that the flower mower fell apart. Basically the automatic belt tensioner come loose and it, there's no way it would ever work the way it was. So I've done a repair. The belts are holding up. I did one pass yesterday and the bloody wheel fell off. Oh, God's sake. So what we've done is we've taken the wheels off, we've wound it up as high as we can and uh, it's just running along on the roller now so there's no wheels on it and it seems to be doing a bloody good job. Trouble is the new belts haven't turned up so I'm using the old belts which are pretty knackered but um, we've not had a lot of slippage and we've got quite a bit done. So I'll take you through in the field in a minute and uh, show you around, see what we've got up to. Here's the terror dogs. They're off to check out my handiwork. Alright. Alright. Um, I'll just do some videoing in the garage and then I'll get in the car. So let's have a quick look in the garage and check out this flower mower. So there it is. You can see I've taken the wheels off the sides. And it just runs on the roller on the back now. And we've wound the thing up at the front so it adjusts the angle of the, the, uh, the drawbar. So when it's on the back of the Range Rover, I can lift the suspension right up so it lifts the front of the mower quite clear of the ground. And it seems to be tackling the grass quite well. But there will be a complaint going in and I will be doing a, a thorough review on this flower mower depending on the uh, outcome of an email. So watch this space. So, change of plan, the dogs aren't following us, they're coming in the car, it's too bloody hot outside. I'll just put my ignition on, I'll tell you exactly how hot it is. Thirty-six point five degrees C. No idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's bloody hot. So we'll have a quick drive around the field to see what we can see and I'll show you everything that I've cut. This is the bit that I did the other week. It's just starting to come through again now. And there's our woods. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. This is today's efforts. All that bit down there. Right around behind that tree. And then I started tackling this long bit here. Just when I ran out of petrol. We'll have a look around there now. Done quite a good job on this bit. That's all cut down. It's just that long bit over there. So we'll go a bit further. So that has been our little visit to the Mad Dog Chili Farm. Um, it was a short and sweet visit this time because we were, uh, we, as I said, we was having some windows and doors delivered. Today was the only day that they could come. We should have come last week because we had a an external door which is going on the end of the house that was being delivered to the other house it should have been delivered on the Wednesday we was going to come over on the Wednesday evening do a bit of work here it didn't turn up till the Friday so 
that sort of cocked the job up really. But anyway, we've been here, we got here yesterday afternoon. I did a little bit yesterday and I've done a bit today. Tina's done quite a bit down there. She's getting all the ivy off the wall. Um, I haven't got any footage of that, but I think we have got some pictures. So I'll cue those pictures. So yeah, Tina's done quite well down there, considering the heat, let's say 36.5 in the sun, well, that's what the car said it was, even driving around the field with the breeze it said 36.5, so in the sun against that wall it was probably quite hot. So yeah, now that's all cut off, hopefully it'll all die off and it'll be easier to pull off at the top. We shall see. So, the only reason we're not coming over here too much is because of this canicule heat wave. Um, I think we're due for 36, 37s, 38s, up to 40s. And the chilies we got grown at the other house can't be left. Well, they, need, they sort of need watering every day, pretty much, because it's getting bloody hot in the greenhouse. And, um, so we're having to sort of stay over there to, to water the water the chilies and uh, keep them all going. Otherwise, we'll we won't have much of a business, even though we've only just started up. But um, that's the plan anyway. So when this heat wave has sort of died down a little bit, we'll be spending a bit more time over here. And uh, yeah, you can expect some more videos. I didn't bring the drone today because uh, we was only here for a short visit. But uh, if we did have the drone, I could have had a good look and see how much grass I've cut. Anyway, next time. So, yeah, until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.